Let's take a little walk, okay? You and I, we're gonna go take a stroll down to a place I like to call Magaville. It's a strange place, I'll warn you, but lots of people live there and that's unfortunate. So thus we need to observe what's taking place. And the latest example of the craziness of the residents of Magaville is one of the favorites of that community, Marjorie Green. And she has a boyfriend named Brian Glenn and he has a right wing network, Real America's Voice or Right Side Broadcasting, one of those. And he is dating Marjorie Green. And they both were pushing a similar concept yesterday that I want to read you in on. Um, so as you know, on Monday, there is going to be an eclipse. And also in the Northeast, there were earthquakes. And so Marjorie Green said on X, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. So apparently, given what we know about Marjorie Taylor Greene's political views, she's saying that the left is being so horrible that God is saying, stop that with eclipses and earthquakes. Now, there was a community note, a brutal one added to this post that said there are approximately 1700 earthquakes in the US every year, about four a day. Solar eclipses occur approximately every 18 months and are able to be predicted well in advance. Right. Now, Jojo from Jurors said earthquakes and eclipses happen all the time, Marge. Remind me who the president was when we were met with a once in a lifetime global pandemic. Now, it's an interesting point. If we are trying to take signs from the uh, natural events that take place in the world, then what does she think of the pandemic that happened while Trump was president? Now, she would say that probably was also to punish us or warn us or uh, force us to repent because of the horrible leftists. And so I'm sure she has a response to that. And again, it's funny that she would bring up, uh, bring up eclipses because first of all, they don't really harm anything. And so I don't know how that would be a wake up call, but also as the community note mentioned, eclipses are predicted decades and decades out. We knew this was coming for quite some time. And so it's not a sudden thing because of the actions of the modern leftist crazies as she might say now her boyfriend jumped in on this and i'll play this video insane <laughs> because of what he's saying but also because of the sort of playbook that he's bringing this out of that he's uh modeling this from and i'll explain what i mean by that after playing this I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend, and here's why. This might be the last normal weekend that we have for quite some time. I mean, we've got this solar eclipse on Monday, this very rare solar eclipse. Who knows what the fallout from that will be? Plus, that will be combined with... Sorry, let's just stop there. What does that mean, Brian Glenn? What does that mean? Again, he's a right-wing media dude, if you're not familiar. We don't know what the fallout of the solar eclipse will be we do ready that was cool hopefully you're wearing glasses when you're staring like that look it just got dark for a second if you're in the little place in the country where it's going to get completely dark or oh look the sun's being partially eclipsed by the moon all right move on with our life that's going to be the fallout brian all right here i'll start this over I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend, and here's why. This might be the last normal weekend that we have for quite some time. I mean, we've got this solar eclipse on Monday, this very rare solar eclipse. Who knows what the fallout from that will be? Plus, that will be combined with several earthquakes. We've already seen a few already. And why not uh, sprinkle in this infestation of locusts uh, that have been a dormant for years, and all of a sudden will attack mankind so why not oh then throw in joe biden trying to get into a war with iran for whatever reason he wants to do that so on that note have a great weekend we'll see you next week or maybe not obviously i disagree with his characterization of biden trying to get us into a war with iran and i have more for magaville in just a second but uh to respond to that what i mean about the playbook it's a similar alex jones thing where you're always pushing end of the world 
or end of the world adjacent ideas. And that's because nothing keeps people's eyes on a television or on their phone like fear. And so much of the MAGA playbook is to fear monger about everything. And that becomes a habit to the point where you're taking the eclipse and earthquakes as signs that you should be terrified of maybe this weekend will be the last. And uh, we don't know what the fallout will be of the solar eclipse. Again, we know what it's going to be. A bunch of photos being posted on social media, a bunch of <laughs> people looking at it with glasses or not with glasses. If you're Trump, don't do that. I know we saw the president stare at a solar eclipse without glasses, but that doesn't mean you should do it. And uh, <laughs> that that's going to be the big horrible fallout. But the fear mongering is so routine now for people like Brian Glenn and Marjorie Taylor Greene that everything has to uh, connect to it. Look at this tweet again. God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. Also, Marge, how do you not know that those signs are <laughs> to you? <laughs> They're mad at Marjorie. Okay. You just can't tell, can you? Very strange. Now, the other Magaville related story, I should start a segment checking in on Magaville. Uh, Luke <laughs> travels there. Uh, the Guardian reports Republicans proposed renaming Dulles Airport after Trump as symbol of freedom. We talked about this on the Daily Bonus Show. By the way, LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership to get access to the bonus show. Plus, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So important. But here's the reporting that we'll get to how Democrats hilariously mock Trump over this. Dulles Airport should be renamed for Donald Trump, a Republican co-sponsor of a bill to do uh, to do so said because there would be no better symbol of freedom, prosperity and strength. Guy Reschenthaler of Pennsylvania told Fox News Digital, in my lifetime, our nation has never been greater than under the leadership of President Donald J. Trump. Play the clip. Supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. One minute, and is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs, so it'd be interesting. That's leadership, ladies and gentlemen. Now, take a look at this before getting to the funny part of this where Democrats respond. Uh, this is Republican Congressman Andy Ogles. And Look at how he speaks about his effort and MAGA Republicans effort to rename an airport after Trump. Bill, stand a chance of passing? Well, you know, it, it's one of those uh, you always swing for the fences. You never stop fighting. But look, you know, Donald Trump was a transformative president. The country was in a better place when he was president of the United States. The economy was better. The borders were more secure and the world was safer. So it's time that we wreck false recognize that fact regardless of whether you're a democrat or a republican we were all better off under donald trump versus under this so-called bidenomics yeah republicans are having a tough time in the house gallagher buck mccarthy santos all gone um so you don't really have you've got a one vote margin is That's do right. you think this would even pass in the house if it went to the floor for a vote well, you know, there's there's one way to find out. Let's put it out there, baby, and let's go. I mean, you you you, you don't fight, uh, you don't stop fighting because the odds are tough. But I think it can pass. Now, look, mm. isn't that profound? Isn't that inspiring? You can't let the odds stop you from fighting for what's right. You know, you gotta just keep putting one foot in front of the other to continue uh, enacting progress in this world, no matter the obstacles. No matter the odds, no matter the naysayers or the haters, you have to continue every day fighting for what's right. <clears throat> and that's why we, uh, we're going to name this airport after Donald J. Trump. I mean, we're going to do it, okay? No matter what it takes. That's pitiful. You know, there are so many things that people want the house to be doing right now. 
and they keep not doing them. They can barely get their funding situation sorted out. And Marjorie's talking about ousting Mike Johnson over that. But they can find time to attempt to name an airport after Trump because he stands for prosperity and freedom. Well, House Democrats responded, and this is just priceless, ABC News reports. After House Republicans introduced legislation to rename an airport outside of Washington, D.C. after former President Donald Trump, a group of House Democrats are now proposing a bill to rename a federal prison in Miami after Donald Trump. The legislation, which would re, uh, rename the Miami Federal Correctional Institution of Florida as the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Institution, was officially filed on Wednesday, April 3rd. Hilarious. A perfect clap back because it both mocks Trump by itself, but it also mocks the absurdity of what House Republicans are trying to do in naming uh the Dulles International Airport after Trump. Beautiful. If you enjoyed that journey to Magdaville, as strange as it was, please hit the like button and let me know what you thought of it. And I'll talk to you in the next video.